Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm here to show you another good recipe. This is uh, very easy, very delicious. It's gonna be um, feta cheese and spinach lasagna. And it's so delicious and so comforting. And it's, it's really something easy to do for a night that you don't know what to cook. So this is the easy way to make a nice dish with some of the ingredients you have at home, maybe not all, but very easy. So this is um, 15 ounce ricotta cheese. I'm gonna start by adding that into my bowl here so I can make the filling. So 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, and I use the whole milk because I like the creaminess on that. So in here, I'm gonna put some Parmesan. I'm gonna put about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. There you go, goes in there. I'm going to put my feta cheese and I'm gonna put maybe about eight ounces of crumpled feta and the feta cheese just crumpled right in here. There you go, a little bit more. I'll put the ingredients, list of the ingredients um, under the recipe and you can go from there. But okay, so in here I'm gonna put a little bit of basil, chopped up fresh basil, maybe about a half a cup. I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt because the feta cheese is already salty. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper and two eggs right in my bowl, right in here. And this is, this is a recipe that I made up actually by mistake. So I've been making it for long time because it's it's good it's delicious so mixing all this together the ricotta cheese the feta cheese the basil oh it smells so good so this is going to be your filling and it's going to be layered with um, lasagna noodles so i pre-cooked my noodles there is the ricotta which is plenty in here so okay so i Pre-cook my lasagna noodles and drain them, so they're right over here. And now I'm just gonna layer, and it's easy to do. Only takes a few minutes to put it together. So I spray my aluminum foil pan with olive oil, and I cook this uh, like al dente, so not too, not maybe about five minutes, just to get them soft enough to go in there in the pan. So I'll put a layer right on the bottom. Then I'm gonna put one third of my filling, my ricotta cheese filling. It's gonna go right on the bottom. A little bit more. There you go. You wanna spread it around and make it even so everybody gets a good cheesy, cheesy uh, piece. So now here I have um, a 15 ounce bag of uh, spinach, frozen spinach. That's what I had at home, that's what I'm gonna use. Drain them and squeeze all the water out. And this is gonna go right on top of the ricotta cheese. So I'm gonna do thirds of that too because I'm gonna make three layers. So I wanna make sure I have enough. So there you go, that's it. I'm gonna spring a little bit more Parmesan on top to make it a little nice and I'm gonna put a little bit of mozzarella on this. There you go. And another layer of lasagna noodles. That goes right on top too. This is half a package of, of lasagna noodles, which is like 10, I think. So I'm gonna put one more layer of my filling goes right on top. I'm gonna to do the same thing with my spinach and my Parmesan. I should taste this and see how it tastes. Mmm, yum, yum. <coughs> really good. So I'm gonna put a little bit more spinach on this. So I'm gonna put another layer of 
Parmesan. This is the Romano cheese, Parmesan Reggiano. So that goes on top. And now my last layer of noodles. piece I have right over here on the side. Make it overlap a little bit, but that's okay. This is half a package of the noodles. So there we go. So on this, I'm gonna put my last, my last ricotta stuffing right in here on top. There you go. This is not a Greek recipe. This is just a recipe that I come up with. And I love making it because the kids like it. Olivia likes it, my granddaughter, and she likes to come in and, and help when she can. So there you go. That's gonna be my last layer, the ricotta. Got a cheese. And I'm gonna put the rest of my spinach in here. There you go. Now on top of this, just for the just for the taste, I'm going to put okay. I'm going to put just very little homemade my homemade right, marinara sauce. You can use a uh, jar marinara, store bought, that's fine. But that's where you these spots are gonna go, oh my God, is that Greek or is that Italian? <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little bit of my marinara sauce right on top of this. Just, you only need very little because this is gonna be so creamy and nice, but you're gonna taste the marinara sauce right on top. Maybe about one cup or maybe a cup and a half. Whatever you want, make it your own. Spread it all around. Okay, and there it is. It's all assembled together. So this is going to go into a 350 degree oven, preheated oven for maybe 30 minutes. But before I put it in the oven, I'm going to put some fresh mozzarella on top. Fresh, fresh mozzarella. I'm going to make a lot of cheese because I love cheese. So this is it. You're probably going to need about two cups of cheese. This was a package of eight, eight ounces, I think. Okay, and the fun part is going to be a little bit more crumpled better on top of this. There you go. And now you get the taste of the feta cheese, the spinach, the um, marinara sauce, and this is it. So this is ready to go in the oven 350 for 30 minutes. And it's going to be nice and bubbly and, um, and, and nice and brown on top. So I'm going to cover it first, cook it for 30 minutes and maybe open it up and um, cook it another 10 minutes to brown the cheese on top. So I will come back in 30 minutes and show you what it looks like. So I see you soon. So my timer just went off. So it's ready. It's nice and brown. I'm going to go ahead and get them out of the oven. And I'm going to show you what they look like. So there I am. They're nice and golden brown on the edges, nice and brown on the, on the top and the um, Feta cheese looks really, really good. So I have a little basil, fresh basil. I'm gonna chop, chop on top, just for a little garnish. And it's gonna make it, just finish this whole dish. Right, right, ready for dinner tonight. We're going to our neighborhood potluck dinner. So I'm going to take this for my dish. And I, th I hope everybody likes it. I think everybody's gonna like it. So, so there it is, all ready. Nice, delicious, semi-healthy, not too bad. So I uh, hope you make this dinner for your family, your friends, and enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this. 
with my cup and uh, I have my little carry-on here so I'm going to put right in here this is a little carry-on that I made a long time ago I use it all the time so the pan goes in here and this two goes on top and goes up top and I'm going to put my uh, serving dish utensil in here also so everything is in place so I'm ready for my potluck dinner tonight so I hope you make this dinner enjoy it watch us on YouTube share and subscribe so have a good day and I leave you with lots of love and have a good night and I'll see you soon sometime soon Bye-bye.